Today we are going to deal with plant genetic resources, what's uh, this biodiversity. So as we are very much aware that biodiversity is in danger and when we talk about biodiversity, what comes in our mind first thing is food or agriculture biodiversity which means plant genetic resources. So plant genetic resources can be land races, farmers variety, parental lines of hybrids, release variety, wild and video relatives, primitive cultivars and genetic resources. What is the role of genetic resources in increasing food production as we have witnessed that in, during the green revolution two important genes that are DGO gen gene and norin 10 gene from dogma Japanese wheat was very much responsible for the green revolution. It increased the uh, food grain production, horticulture production, fish production, milk production, meat production, egg production by different genetic improvement from uh, many fold. India as we know it is a very rich gene center. It is one of the 17 mega biodiversity center. It is one of the eight center of gene crop plants. About 29 percent of flowering plants are endemic and it is one of the hot spot of biodiversity in India. India again it has 17,500 species of fire plants, 583 crop plant species cultivated, 168 crop plant species are indigenous to India, 334 wild species of crop plant relative and 1,532 edible plant species used in tribal areas. When we talk about plant genetic resource management, the first thing which come into our mind is national NDPGR, that is National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources. It is a nodal institute which have international and national collaboration. It has network of regional center and it has 58, 59 national active germplasm sites which consist ICR institutes, SAUs, project directories, ACRIPS, SA, etc. and national and international collaboration. When we talk about conservation of plant genetic resources, there are two methods. One is ex situ conservation and in situ conservation. When we talk about ex situ conservation, it is outside their natural habitat, which includes seed banks, gene banks, field banks, etc. And in situ conservation is inside or within their natural habitat, like biosphere reserves, etc. In, in a seed gene bank, if you say in NDPGR, there are 3,77,008 assertions including 1,549 species, which include in vitro gene bank, cryo bank, field gene bank. So the ex situ conservation strategies and in situ conservation strategies both plays a very important role in plant genetic resource management. 